Hello, this is Dana with From Fertility to Delivery. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about waiting for the baby to come. Waiting for conception to happen. Uh, and that, this waiting game, some, for some people, it's days, weeks, months, and years. And when it gets to years, that's when it becomes a really hard pill to swallow. Waiting and waiting and waiting for your spirit baby to come in Earthside while you see other friends and family getting pregnant, starting families, and you're still waiting. So when we talk about the waiting game, we also have to talk about divine timing. What is divine timing? Divine timing really states that everything happens at the time it is supposed to happen from a spiritual perspective. So divine timing is something that uh, we don't necessarily have control over. We do have free will in this world that we live in on earth and free will is one of the uh, natural laws of the universe. But we do have to wait when we are co-creating with other souls. And in the case of conception and conscious conception, we are waiting for the other soul that is still in the, the spirit world, your spirit baby, your future son, your future daughter, to come Earthside. And that is done on their time. It's not necessarily done on your time. So what I wanna talk about today is time and timing. Time, uh, we've heard this a lot from many different uh, modalities of, um, of esoterics like astrology, uh, numerology, uh, a lot of other <clears throat> ways to express time. We've talked about, uh, we've heard a lot of people talk about time as an illusion. Is time an illusion or are we just seeing it in a different way? So to express this, uh, Spirit gave me the idea to use some tools, some ver vid visual tools to explain time. So I'm actually gonna use a duster. <laughs> I had to get a little creative. But this is a duster used to uh, clean the house. And I had this around, so I decided to use it. So when we see time, we see time in a linear fashion. It is horizontal. Uh, things happen in the past, the present, the future. And that's how we see time. And time on the earth plane is very linear. Things happened in the past, and then they're happening now. And then there's things that will happen in the future. And this is how we've always seen time. Each moment of this line is an actual moment in time. And what we can actually call it, we can call it the present moment. So there are many, many, many present moments or moments of now that are part of this timeline. The moment of now is the one constant when it comes to time. So this is how humans see time. Now let's flip it. Let's add another dimensional layer to this. This is also time. This is how your spirit baby and the folks in our spirit world see time. Time is actually vertical. Everything is happening on one point of now. Everything is happening. So all these little points where there's something happening, it's actually happening in the moment of now. Every single moment is a moment of now. And as we go past and we stretch time, which is what we do on earth, it feels linear. It feels horizontal. But in actuality, from a soul perspective, it is happening right now. So when your spirit baby is looking to come Earthside, they're just seeing that they're gonna make it happen in some moment of now. Their now could be your five years from now. Their now could be your five days from now. Their now could be your five months from now. So what do we do with that? You can't force anyone to do anything from a free will perspective. And that's why we have this waiting game where we're waiting for the baby to come forward, to come through. And it is, it's frustrating. I was 38 and 40 when I was pregnant and, and had our, the first and second child. That's a long time to wait. 
and uh, I am a late bloomer. A lot of you that are watching this are late bloomers as well. So what do we do while we're waiting? Do we get frustrated? Do we get upset? Do we feel jealous of other people that are creating their families and we are waiting and waiting and waiting for ours? Or do we surrender to what is happening? and know that there is a time and space for us it just hasn't happened yet uh, for for me it was it was frustrating it was definitely frustrating and i kept it as an internal bottled up frustration that i didn't really share with a lot of people but it was frustrating but i still had that tug i had that tug and i had a really deep internal knowing that if i was just patient with life and if life was patient with me and I've surrendered to divine timing and knowing that what my desires were, they were real, they were, I should definitely honor them and I should let it come as it was, as it's supposed to come, then it would come. And those tugs never went away. The tugs of having uh, a baby in my arms, having a family, starting a family, growing a family, being a mom, um, having my husband be the father and, and just really have that connection and that world that, it, that I knew I was gonna be a part of. I could feel it, it just wasn't physical yet. So as we move through this period of waiting, it's a good idea to surrender to what is happening and accept it. Accept it as the first sovereign choice and first free will choice of your spirit baby. Your son or future daughter, future son, they have their own timing and we have to honor that timing. And as soon as I got into that soft spot where I realized that I had to honor their timing and when they wanted to come outside, then I let a lot of the anxiety, the worry, and the stress, I just, I, I dropped it. I dropped my side of the rope and I stopped the tug of war with time. And when I did that, I allowed a flow to happen and divine timing started and the flow was created like water coming out of a hose. And after that, it was a little bit easier to deal with. So for those of you that have been waiting for a long time for your spirit baby to come earthside, uh, go ahead and do something different. Change your paradigm, um, have a paradigm shift. Uh, maybe do some journaling, uh, spend some quiet time in meditation, go out in nature, uh, take a salt bath, do something that just relaxes you so that you can surrender to that divine timing. Um, as I grow this channel and I, as I grow my business from fertility to delivery, I will be creating online classes for people that are interested in learning more about spirit babies, the spirit world, uh, conscious conception, quantum fertility. There's a lot of different ways you can talk about this. And also the childbirth aspect, uh, the hypnobirthing aspect. I have a good amount of videos that talk about that as well, uh, but just a, a nugget. I did have uh, beautiful, wonderful experiences with natural childbirth um, under three hours of delivery uh, for the first child and under two hours for the second. And it was beautiful, it was gorgeous, and it just, it's a way of tapping into what we already have because we are built for birth. So I am on uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and I do have a TikTok channel, and we're going to go deep into these quantum topics to figure out what's going on and to really focus on the uh, health of fertility and also childbirth. Moving from a third dimensional paradigm of stress, worry, anxiety, issues, and moving towards something that makes more sense, it flows and it's more fifth dimensional, uh, it's higher vibe and it's where our uh, universe is headed. So for more information, uh, please visit my social media sites that I just mentioned, also my website from fertility to delivery. Dot com and I also have a buy me a coffee which uh, there's a link on my website from fertility to delivery for buy me a coffee if you're interested in supporting my channel thank you have a wonderful day and don't forget while you're dusting at home about divine timing and that time is really 
vertical and we just have to surrender to it. Many blessings. Bye-bye.